As the world progresses, more tunnels, skyscrapers, and buildings are being built every day. Our engineers are also coming up with insane models machines to help construction. And in the car shutter's case, destruction. Some machines were named after their mayors, like Big Bertha, while others were given the title of the most powerful mega earth mover, such as the Laterno L2350. Here are the 12 extreme machines you need to see in action. Number 12, Underground Hydraulic Forge. Usually, when you look at a machine, you don't really think of the word majestic. But when you take a look at this piece of technology, you'll definitely change your mind. Here is the Otto Fuchs, a hammer forging machine that uses pressure to process metal. The machine is so large that when it's being used in manual mode, operators can't even see each other. The press is built of about 9,920 tons of steel. That's 23% more steel than it took to build the Eiffel Tower. Can you imagine how difficult it must have been to transport the parts of this machine? Well, the 35 heavy trucks that delivered those parts can. Number 11. Continuous Rock Miner The company named Caterpillar might sound sweet, but it's actually a heavy equipment manufacturing company, and their recent machine is nowhere near dainty. Their contour mining machine has taken the mining industry by storm, because the system has completely replaced the typical drill and blast technique. It has a low profile hard rock chain conveyor that rotates while simultaneously cutting, loading, and hauling all sorts of dirt. Moreover, the rock cutter has no exhaust emissions, and it doesn't even need to use explosives. Lastly, this machine needs fewer people to operate it than conventional rock mining. This puts a lot of workers out of danger as underground mining as almost 15,000 miners die during the process. All in all, this machine is a beast that literally saves lives. Number 10, the car shredder. The world is always in need of more metal, whether it's scrap or ore. To meet that demand, Useless vehicles are cut up and shredded by a gigantic machine. And this is where the $10 million INXS Automotive Shredder comes in handy. It's one of the largest machines of its type and has been constantly working since 2006. It's almost like a conventional shredder, except it's the size of a brontosaurus. The feeder pipe eats up chunks of scrap and the twin roll compression feeder regulates the amount of material hitting the shredder. It can digest up to 450 cars and about 350 tons of material every hour. It's definitely one hungry machine. Number nine, Big Bertha. If you've ever kept up with the mega machines, then you're probably aware of Bertha, the biggest tunnel boring machine. It managed to dig 1.7 miles under huge skyscrapers under Seattle until it damaged its cutting blades after trying to cut through a steel pipe. But that's what the engineers thought. After some investigation, it was revealed that the machine had just overheated. It was initially built to get rid of an old highway in Seattle and to replace that with a huge tunnel. That decision grouped together some of the best engineers who came up with Bertha the Tunnel Borer. After four long years and a breakdown, the tunnel was finally completed and named Route 99. Number 8. Straddle Carrier When you look at a cargo ship, you can see an insane amount of huge containers stacked up perfectly. But how do they get there? It's all possible because of a machine called the Straddle Carrier. This freight carrying vehicle doesn't lift up the luggage, instead it sort of straddles it. This way, it can load and unload containers without the help of a crane or forklifts. Their main job is to stack ISO standard containers and can lift up to 60 tons at once. However, their speed is only 20 miles per hour since they carry so much weight, but it's efficient work. Number 7. Liebherr LTM 1200 Crane Cranes are already huge and impressive machines, 
but the world's most powerful mobile crane is here to break up all your expectations. Built by the German company Liebherr Group, it has the longest telescopic boom, which can extend up to about 100 meters. Moreover, it can lift up to 12,000 metric tons. That is about 700 cars. But this sort of technology doesn't come cheap. One Lieber crane costs about a million dollars. And the delivery alone cost $599,000. Number 6. Super Bulldozer An average may be able to push around some dirt, but there is one machine that leaves behind those tiny machines. The Akko Super Bulldozer is not just the largest, but also the most powerful bulldozer ever made. It's made by the company mentioned earlier, Caterpillar. In fact, it's the biggest piece of machinery made by the company and weighs over 183 tons. It was initially built to be exported to Libya in the early 1980s, but it was never shipped. The blade of this monstrous machine is about 23 feet and is powered by huge hydraulic rams. Unfortunately, this machine was never actually put to use, and even now, it's just in storage. Number 5. Mega Earth Mover Letorno L2350 This previous bulldozer might have been disappointing, but to make up for that, the biggest earth mover is here. This isn't just a title that we gave it, the Guinness World Record did. It's designed to center load haul trucks with a capacity of up to 400 tons. With an operational weight of 260 tons and horsepower of 2300, this machine can pick up anything. Number 4. Giant Bucket Wheel Excavator The Bagger 288 or Excavator 288 was built by a German company, Krupp. Its design is a very fascinating one. The bucket wheel excavator took about 5 years to design, and another 5 years to assemble, and the resulting costs rounded up to about $100 million. The reason it was built was to remove the overburden at the Hambach surface mine in Germany. Apparently, it's really good at what it does, because it can excavate 240,000 tons of coal. That's about a soccer field dug to 30 meters deep. Moreover. This machine has quite a career in the film industry too. In the film Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance 2012, a rider uses this machine to turn into a vehicle of destruction against his enemies. Number 3. Arborco Tree Transplantation Have you seen huge trees in the middle of the city and thought, how in the world did they grow there? We might have some news for you. Most huge trees aren't grown there. They're grown somewhere else, and when they're mature enough, they're planted into cities. The Arborco tree transplantation is what's used to transport huge plants and trees. This sort of transportation requires special knowledge about arboriculture, an equipment that only Arborco can manufacture. Moreover, this company also replants trees and even decides the sort of plants that would be suitable for a piece of land. How impressive is that? Number 2. Ship Launcher Usually, no one really wonders how ships get into the water. You probably just assume that they were slid in, right? Well, you couldn't be more wrong. And it's all because of their size. A regular cargo ship is about 1,000 feet long, so they can't just be pushed into the water. They'll need a set of tracks, cranes, wheels to literally yank the ships into the water. After it's pushed, it creates a huge splash and the ship's real construction is tested as it has to balance itself via its own buoyancy and stability factory. This sort of launching requires the ship to have a lot of strength. Only high quality ships are launched this way. Number 1. Crone Squadro Every machine on this list looks bulky and far from futuristic, but the Crone Squadro isn't like the rest of them. With its rotary blades that spread out like spider's legs, it looks too mesmerizing to not admire this beauty. The best part about this machine is that its widths are flexible, and the running gear comes with adjustable track widths. It's best for low yielding crops, but it can work with almost any sort of crop. The way it rakes and forages is immaculately clean, and to top it all off, 
the gears are all permanently lubricated, so no manual maintenance is needed. Alright, comment below which of these extreme machines blew your mind the most. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TechJoint, and we'll see you in the next one.